everyone and welcome back to my channel welcome to very fresh faced ellie as you probably gathered it's still very early in the morning i'm only just about feeling alive after my cycle and coffee this morning the caffeine is slowly starting to hit and wake me up but i wanted to come on here and start today's video a little bit more fresh face a little bit more naked in terms of hair and no makeup and all of that jazz because i wanted to talk a little bit about my kind of like process of getting ready at the moment and i wanted to do a video basically about my kind of like new year's intentions new year's resolutions i know a lot of you don't like that word actually when i put up a poll being like do you like the word new year's resolutions so many of you were like nope i hate that so i think i'm going to call them like new year's intentions and goals that i'm going to be setting myself um and I wanted to come on here because I don't know if you would have seen from my last couple of vlogs, but my skin has been on a journey these past couple of weeks. It was not happy after Christmas. I feel like I just overindulged way too much in what I ate and it just came out in my skin. And finally, it is starting to kind of like feel like it's going back to a much healthier, much glowier, much happier state, which makes me really, really happy. You can probably still see there's like a little bit of scarring kind of around my chin. It always seems to be my chin that I break out on, but I have been using my Caroline Hirons um, skincare products. I will show you what I've been using actually because they've been really, really great. So in terms of the two products that I think that have been making the big difference, it is these two here. So it is the Ren vita mineral omega-3 optimum skin oil now this has been really good at moisturizing my skin despite being spotty i was also really dry and i just feel like that was like a really bad combination and sometimes it can be quite daunting to look at oils when you are really spotty when you've got a bit of acne when you've got a bit of breakouts and so i know that it can be really really daunting but i feel like this has been a great oil at not adding to that kind of like bacteria texture acne anything like that but just adding a lot of moisturizer so i'll link this down below this is just from ren it's a really really affordable product which i really really like about ren so i'll link that down below that's been great and then the other one that i think has been making the big difference in terms of like the actual breakouts themselves it's the medicaid crystal retinol 3 i definitely think that retinol does help with breakouts and i do find that when i start using a retinol more regularly my skin is usually a lot glowier a lot clearer it just feels a lot brighter and healthier so this has been really really great as well so i'll link this down below as well but i just absolutely love those two they're my two favorite products from the skin kit from caroline hirons that i've been using if you watch my what i got for christmas you'll know that i got that from alex's mum which was such a lovely gift i feel like nothing is better than the gift of good skin but better skin is a big intention for me this year and just making sure to look after my skin and making sure to really really stick to a good skincare routine like good products good a good routine that's what i want i really really want a good routine and to keep my skin looking this healthy because i was so down about it last week like it was really really getting to me and i feel like it was just so obvious and it's one of those things where i feel like other people probably barely notice or even if you do notice probably don't even care but for me i was just so self-conscious about it and i actually did a reel where you could really see one of my spots and i was this close to not uploading it but i thought you know what i just want to show that it's okay to have breakouts it's okay if your skin's not perfect all the time that is life so yeah a big one for me though is keeping my skin this healthy this glowy this breakout free it's a huge new year's intention for me another one which i have already started this morning is to cycle every single morning i want to make sure that i am really really doing the best for my knee if you've seen my like, life and home update video you'll know that my knee has not been in the best place recently and i've been really really struggling with it and i think there are certain things that i can personally do to help it and i can personally do to make things better help myself help out my knee and i think cycling and doing daily exercise is definitely going to help so with regards to exercise i've kind of got two things i want to do a day every morning that i can like if i'm going into london i need to get up early i won't be doing it those mornings but basically every morning that i'm at home which is about three days a week i'm going to be cycling and then every evening which this will be every single evening no matter what i'm doing that day i'll be doing my knee exercises that my physio has given me to really help strengthen the muscles strengthen the knee and just help out everything that is going on there so those are two of like the really big ones that i kind of want to 
like focus on this year but i want to talk more about intentions in a bit i feel like i've jumped into that way sooner than i thought i was going to in this video and i wanted to talk a little bit more about basically my current morning routine my current makeup and the big one that i've been asked is my hair and what i've been doing to it recently um so this is basically it just blow dried with my ghd i got into a bit of a habit of leaving my hair to air dry but i actually read recently that it's not always the best thing for your hair what i think i found from my own research and also from how my hair responds is that if i kind of let it air dry for maybe about 20 minutes to half an hour just to kind of get that really wetness out of it and it's just a bit damp and it goes a little bit frizzy after that i then blow dry and it seems to kind of like make it a little bit sleeker there's less flyaways there's less frizz there and it just really really helps to kind of like maintain it and i absolutely adore this it is such a great hair dryer. i'll link it down below if you do want to shop it so i really really rate this it has been such a great hair strip dryer and also can we just appreciate the black and the blue i love how navy blue goes with black it's like one of my favorite color combos at the moment um so yeah loving that so i washed my hair last night and blow dried it and then this is how it looks once i have slept on it so i'm going to start with makeup because I always tend to do makeup than hair. I don't know if that's just a personal preference. It's always something that I've done. I always recommend just getting your hair out of your face when it comes to makeup. These are just a couple of hair slides that I get off Amazon. I'll link them down below as well for you guys if you do want to shop them. But I'm going to be going for quite just like a light, natural, dewy makeup today, especially because my skin is feeling good. I feel like I don't want to overload it with too much product. Um, so I'm just going to start by priming. And I will, of course, link everything down below for you guys that I am using. So I'm going to go in with my Code 8 Radiant BB Cream. This is one that I picked up. If you were following for Vlogmas, you'll have seen this when I went into Code 8 to create my custom lipstick. Um, and they really kindly sent me away with a lot of products. And definitely my favourite product that they sent me away with is the BB Cream. It's just really natural, really glowy. It's like full, not full coverage, but... It's like a fairly light coverage, but enough that I feel really, really confident in it. And then just going to conceal under my eyes with my Beauty Blender. I don't get too bad eye bags, but I'm not going to lie. I've not been sleeping the best at the moment. So I feel like they are looking a little bit worse for wear. <laughs> I mean, I am fairly lucky in the sense that I have no children. I have no pets. I have nothing that keeps me awake. So whenever I have a bad night's sleep, I'm sure that is like nothing compared to people that have like got children or babies or little doggos that come in and wake them up in the night but still i mean the eye bags still start to develop when the sleep is not the best <laughs> then just to kind of like bronze up my skin a little bit i feel like this is fairly similar to the makeup that i was doing around christmas time but just a little bit more natural a little bit glowy up so i'm using the dior forever bronzer in the shade soft bronze i absolutely love this just like a really nice natural bronzer i basically have like a really big fluffy brush that i just pinch a little bit just to kind of get it a little bit more streamlined in terms of the kind of positioning of it and then obviously we got to do a fishy face to really get those cheekbones popping i then let it go and then just buff the rest of it in when I did go to get my makeup done, actually, at Code Age, told me that I had really good cheekbones. And I was like, really? Because I have very chubby cheeks. And it's just something I've always had. I've got quite a round face. And I've just always had fairly chubby cheeks ever since I was little. Um, and so I've never really thought of myself as someone that has good bone structure. But she really complimented my bone structure. And I was like, you have such good cheekbones. I was like, oh, thanks. I'm going to whiz through brows with my two fave products, the Dior Forever Brow Pencil and the Refai Brow Gel. Honestly, I have never found a brow gel that is as good as this, especially if you're someone like me. You have very wiry eyebrows. Like, I have really thick, wiry brows. I have discovered that soap brows just do not work on me. It doesn't stay. It doesn't look cute. Um, and this is the only product that ever, ever actually works on my bushy brows. <laughs> One thing I will say about the Refai brow gel is just to be careful because I go for the non-coloured one, but it's not fully clear. It's actually a little bit white. And if you put on too much product, you can get these big white streaks in your brow. So if you are wanting to try this, just be really light handed with it. I do tend to kind of like rub off a little bit of product before I actually apply it on my brows. But I feel like it just makes such a difference. I feel like very put together when I have my brows on the amount of times that I'm having like no makeup days and I don't really want anything on my face I will literally just put on the 
pixie skin tint like moisture thingy um and then do my brows and that's it i won't put on any mascara or anything like that i feel like brows are so much more important to me next i'm gonna go in with eyes and one of my biggest tricks that i always do which i think is number one such a simple way of really tying in your entire makeup look but number two is also quite an affordable way of like loving your makeup is actually using the same bronzer that i used on my cheeks on my eyes and i use this in my crease just with a little real techniques a fluffy brush and i just buff that into my crease and i think it's such a great way to kind of make sure that it really does go with your skin tone make sure that the coloring really works with the rest of your makeup but also as i say say save a little bit of money you don't need to buy an extra product and i also sometimes even use blushes on my eyes if i want a bit of a pinky eyeshadow because I feel like it just works really really well and just ties in your whole makeup look so I would definitely definitely recommend that and then because I'm actually just going for the most super simple kind of like stripped back version of my makeup at the moment that's all I'm going to do in terms of eyeshadow I personally get really sore eyes when it comes to eyeshadow I have to be very careful with what I put on my eyes I can't wear like really heavy products I can't wear really heavy eyeshadows and so I'm trying to give my eyes a little bit of a break at the moment so I'm only using two products at the moment which is the bronzer as an eyeshadow and of course my NARS brown eyeshadow that I use as eyeliner now I've spoken a little bit about this um, before, but I usually kind of skip through it. I think I'm going to like talk through in detail because I do get a lot of requests about how I create like a really sharp wing. So basically, I just use an eyebrow brush actually. Um, this is from a really old brand, but I will link a good eyebrow brush down below. I find that these are really great because you don't have to be as careful with them because you can almost like stamp it on. Um, so... I start by doing the lid. I'm going to have to like stop talking as I do this because I definitely need to concentrate. But I start on the lid. And I just bring that all the way to my waterline. And then basically I stamp what I want for the wing. And it doesn't matter if it's not perfect because we're going to go in and fix it in a minute. I'm just going to do the other eye real quick because... I never seem to do them one at a time, I have to do them together just to make sure that they're always like even and they're looking at least like sisters. I mean we know that eyeliner isn't twins, eyeliner is sisters. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, the flicks are very big. They're not very perfected. They're not very sharp. So my secret to getting the sharpest eyeliner is a cotton bud. I basically go back in afterwards, just underneath where I did the eyeliner and just kind of like pull up, which basically sharpens the edge of the eyeliner, but also kind of corrects it. It makes it a little bit smaller and a little bit more subtle. So I'm gonna have to, it's really hard to do this and talk at the same time. A voila i feel like it makes such a huge difference with my eyeliner it makes it so much sharper so much more of kind of like a cat wing and it really like pulls your face up one thing that i really love about this eyeliner look i was actually when i was editing back the vlog my um home and life updates i didn't wear eyeliner in the second part of the video and like the next day that i was filming so i would definitely definitely recommend that technique if you just want to kind of like pull Pull your face up give yourself a little bit of a facelift um i'm now going to go in with mascara this is the lancome idol mascara i absolutely love it and one of my tricks to really creating fuller lashes is wiggling the wand as you go up it's such a simple thing but oh my god the difference it makes in how the mascara looks is actually insane i'm just going to add a little bit of powder this is the Lancome, I've spoken about this so much, the light catcher powder. I absolutely adore this for a powder that doesn't quite mattify, but it just kind of like sets all your makeup in place while still keeping that amazing glow that you have from like a really natural lightweight base. And I really like that about it. And then the finishing touch to any makeup look, I feel like my makeup never looks finished until I've added my lipstick. And this is just my favourite everyday combination. This is the Clinique Lip Liner in the shade Intense Sassafras. And this is the NARS Lip Butter in the shade Orgasm. Absolutely love these. So I just slightly overline my lips. I often get questions about whether I've had like lip filler or anything done. No, I mean, I definitely think you can tell when I'm just talking like this and don't have any lipstick on because my lips disappear as i talk so i just kind of overline the slightest bit on my cupid's bow and the slightest bit underneath here and it just kind of like 
accentuates your lips a little bit. Doesn't make them look fake, but just like makes them look a little bit plumper and a little bit more like ready for the day. Okay, so that is makeup done. Now, moving on to hair. So I spoke about the fact that I am actually getting my hair cut at the end of this week. So I wanted to quickly film this before I've got it cut because I think I might have to change my technique once I've got it cut again. Um, it's just gotten far too long and I definitely don't think long hair suits me. I just think shorter hair suits me so, so much better. Um, but this is just the technique I've been doing to basically create this kind of like blow dry look. Loads of you have been asking me to show you how I do this. So I wanted to do it before I got my hair cut again. <laughs> so weapon of choice is the GHD Platinum Plus straighteners. Please excuse how gross they are. I use these so much. I've had them for like maybe two years now and I use them all the time. Now I'm just going to separate my hair into three parts. A couple of scrunchies because I just find that... <laughs> Might see that's how quickly they heat up. That is literally a matter of seconds. Um, but basically, I just find that I have very, very thick hair, and most people probably only need to split their hair into two sections. I need to do three, otherwise, I just miss so, so much. But I just chuck it up with a scrunchie to get it out the way. Okay, so starting from the bottom. Now, I actually find this technique a lot quicker than some of the other hairstyles that I do. Um, maybe it's just because I've kind of perfected how I do it, but basically, I just take a little bit of hair. And with the straightener, I kind of go halfway down, straighten the top half, and then twist the hair away from my face, and then carry on. I do about a 180 twist. I find if I do like a full 360, it goes way too ringlety. And this is a great way to make it just a little bit wavy and a little bit looser and more natural. It creates this really cute little, looks like you've had a blow dry look. Now, personally, my hair does not respond well to blow dries. It just doesn't hold. Never has done the amount of times I've had it done professionally and it just doesn't hold. So this is my way of getting that kind of like a blow dry look or I know in America they call it a blowout, um, a blowout look without actually <laughs> having to do it. I mean, if you are skilled enough and your hair does suitor i reckon the ghd helios would be the perfect hair dryer to perfect the blowout look but if i show you again we go halfway down and then twist just a full 180 towards my hair and then carry on down again now you're going to want to make sure your hair is like brushed through because if you get any knots obviously they're going to be really tricky you're not going to be able to straighten over the knots um, and one thing as well i will say is you don't need to put a hell of a lot of pressure on one thing that i used to do which i think really damaged my hair was i literally used to yank the hair straighteners and i would like hold them so tight on my hair and i think it really damaged it and the thing that i learned is actually you really don't need to put a lot of pressure on you don't need to put a lot of um you know like force and it does just kind of like glide really really nicely if you have really really thick hair and you find that your hair doesn't stay like um with the hair styler and the product is to be slower not put more pressure on just go slower with your curl now i'm just going to hold those in place with the l'oreal l net hairspray this is the extra strong hold i find this is the best one this is actually a new one which is always so satisfying to open I try to kind of like do it away from my face so that I'm not choking on hairspray whilst I continue on the other side. On to section number two. Um, and in terms of like how loose or tight you want the curls, you can basically just decide that yourself by how much hair you grab. I find the more hair you grab, the looser the wave, the smaller the kind of piece of hair that you use for each one, the tighter the wave. I normally don't talk as I'm doing this. Um, normally obviously I've just like got my mouth shut, you know, listening to a podcast or whatever as I'm doing my hair. So I'm not used to tasting the hairspray. I'm literally like, oh, I can taste it. I'm definitely gonna need to do it myself another coffee after this to take away the taste of the hairspray. One thing that I really like about this hairstyle as well is that you can be very imperfect with it. I think sometimes I get in my head, especially obviously, this is one thing that actually like, <laughs> Before YouTube, I never really thought about it. It's just like how symmetrical my hair looks, how, you know, obviously when you're looking at yourself in the viewfinder all the time and you see like a hair that's out of place or a hair that hasn't curled as well as the others, it really bugs you. And I feel like since becoming a bit more of like an online generation with Zooms and everything, I feel like people are starting to understand that a bit more because obviously you're in a Zoom meeting and you're just staring at your face in the Zoom meeting. Um, and I feel like people just understand a bit more what it's like to be like staring at your own face all day. Um, and I definitely get annoyed with how my hair looks when it's like not looking its best. But I feel like because I can be a bit more imperfect with this, it just doesn't bother me as much because it's just a bit more of like a loose, you know, just flowy, 
blow dried look and blow dries are never perfect they're never fully symmetrical they're never fully you know each curl does not look the exact same so i quite like that about this look i feel like it's really good for like <laughs> my own mental well-being one thing i do do as well if the curl doesn't fully curl well with the straightener so i just twist it in my fingers and i find that it just kind of completes the little blow dried curl one thing that i have that is driving me nuts at the moment is these baby hairs that just don't seem to want to sit on this side even though they are this side of my parting they never want to seem to sit on that side so i feel like they always have to go over and it always makes my parting look a bit odd I might try and have a little fiddle with them today <laughs> voila that is how i create my like blow dried blown out look obviously it still looks rather big at the moment just waiting for the curls to drop a little bit and they just look a little bit more natural a little bit more kind of every day but i'm just loving this hairstyle at the moment i feel like it's really me it's really like easy to do actually like this entire full get ready with me has only taken me half an hour and that's obviously including talking which obviously slows things down a bit i'd say usually when i'm like in the zone and get into it i can probably do this entire makeup and hair look in 20 minutes which i think is perfect for like an everyday going into the office or working from home look it's just like a really easy simple glowy but natural makeup and a hair look which i really really like about it so i hope that answers your guys questions those of you who have been asking me how i've been doing my hair how i've been curling it and how i've been styling it obviously it is going to change once my hair is cut again um shouldn't change all that much to be honest it's just gonna be a few inches that i'm taking off the ends just to kind of like freshen it up um get more of that like bob style look again as well but if you have like mid-length hair this is just a perfect hairstyle for you let me know if you want to see like a full tutorial once my hair's cut again and maybe i can show you how i use the ghd helios as well let me know if that's something you want to see but i need to get on with my day so i'm gonna get myself fully ready get myself another coffee and sit down with my journal ready to start the day this is actually really fun i feel like i'm sitting down and having an interview with you guys but i'm currently partway through my second coffee of the day and i'm just sitting down to basically plan out and map out today's kind of like plans intentions goals so i know i've spoken about it before but my carry co diary is literally my favorite thing if you've never heard of carry coat they do the best diaries i think they are just so fun. i'm going to switch over to a page that i haven't used so basically you start off each week with a full weekly planner of what you want to do and then as you go on to the days each day you can like map out exactly how you kind of like want it to be um so i really like to time blocks there's basically top three goals of the day so you can write down what your goals are whether that's like finishing an assignment or whether that's like for me it'll be like i need to film this video i need to film this reel and i need to shoot this campaign um so those are like my top three goals and then there's like a make a note and i usually do my like full to-do list all the things that need doing that day whether that's like putting a wash on whether that's going to the post office whether that's like fueling my car up like lots of different things like that and then we have a section with my perfectly planned day and this is where i actually like time block now i've never been the biggest one hearing about time blocking before and i've never been the biggest one to like advocate it until i got the carry co diary and i just find it really helpful i mean it's fairly like loose in terms of it's just 6 a.m till 10 p.m and you can write in each hour what you want to be doing um so sometimes i just keep it quite loose like i might have a meeting at half three so at three o'clock i'll just put in meeting um but like i might do a little note beside it like it's actually at half three um and i just kind of like write in so like between 10 and 12 i want to be filming my haul video between one and two i want to be filming this reel and like it's just a really great way to kind of like structure your day a little bit and like just get a little bit more like focus into your day i personally especially in winter try and keep my more like creative filming things towards the morning afternoon and then later in the afternoon when it starts to get dark that's usually where i sit down with my laptop but do my admin work do those kinds of things so it's just really useful because the amount of times that i've had like days where i have in my head like right i'm going to do all these and then when it actually gets to it i'm like hang on what did i want to do next what did i want to do now so it's such a great planner that i would definitely recommend investing in it is absolutely gorgeous you can get 
this one which is the one i have in pink now if you follow me on instagram you'll have seen i put up a photo of my 2021 and 2022 diaries and a few people messaged like wait which color did you have in the 2021 they're actually the same color it's just because it's been sun bleach because obviously i've used it so much throughout the year um which really goes to show how much use i've gotten out of the diary but it's this gorgeous pink color they also have it in midnight blue they have it in gray and they have it in this like kind of almost like graffiti art which is quite cute as well um i just think they are the best planners they also have like a yearly goals they have quarterly goals you can do monthly goals and one of my favorite things as well at the end of the month is there's like a review section so this is january in review and you can obviously see like what you've done so what are you grateful for this month what was your biggest achievement was there anything you wanted to achieve but didn't what are your stats and so it's like got all the stats and stuff there which i just think is so useful so especially if you've got like your own business or you're just wanting to like keep a close eye on things it's really really helpful and i think it's really helped me in terms of just like my goals and intentions and i'm actually really glad that i'm sitting down with you guys today because i've got to be honest with you and i know that i kind of touched on this last week in my vlogs when i was talking about how much of a struggle it has been getting back into the swing of things and i felt like i was really starting to get into the hang of it last week and i was like getting back into the swing of things and i was feeling a lot better and i was feeling a lot more motivated and happy and then Monday morning hit me like a ton of breaks. It's actually Tuesday today. Um, I was planning on filming this on a Monday because I thought on a Monday it will be perfect. Obviously, it's going up on Sunday, which I thought would be the perfect time for you guys because I love on a Sunday evening just to have a little bit of like a refresh, a little bit of a look at the week ahead. Like I like to plan what I'm doing for the week ahead. Um, and so I wanted to film on a Monday because I said that's the perfect day. And yesterday I was just flawed. I feel like the January blues mixed with I do have. A few things that are like going on in my personal life at the moment that I'm not going to touch on um but a few like personal things that are going on mixed with January blues I just was flawed and I had like a really bad headache on Sunday evening and it just continued into Monday and I was just absolutely wiped I had such a bad day yesterday I literally just cancelled my entire day took the entire day to myself and I think I really really needed it because I woke up this morning feeling so much more refreshed so much more ready to take on the world and so much more myself um so I kind of wanted this to be a little reminder that like I know we're about halfway through January now and like some people might think it's almost like too late and any of their like new year's resolutions they've already like failed at but I feel like it's nice to have a little bit of like a take two at your kind of like new year's goals your new year's resolutions the things that you are like setting yourself um so i wanted to talk a little bit about like my resolutions for this year because i know that you guys have been asking me a lot and my not resolutions sorry my intentions for this year so i've spoken about this a little bit already and i really want to kind of like focus on this more this year but it's basically just getting a bit of a better like work life balance um and it's kind of hard to like talk about a lot of these things without giving too much away but there's some personal things that are going on that might be able to help with that work-life balance um, and might be able to help me in the long run. So it's one of those goals where it, I am going to be checking in every single month at the start of each month and basically questioning myself, have you achieved this? Have you had a good work-life balance at this month? Has it been entirely work? Has it been entirely play? I mean, it's never entirely play. It's always too much work on my behalf. So basically, have you been able to like give yourself some more time, give yourself some more prioritization and like create a better work-life balance? And actually just little things like this morning having a cycle really does help that because usually I am one who gets up in the morning and I'm straight to work like straight at my desk at half six seven a.m doing emails before the working day starts and getting myself ahead but I really want to just give myself an hour in the morning to have a cycle I'll usually put on like a YouTube video to watch whilst I'm doing it I don't do like hardcore you know like peloton cycles just because with my knee that's not something that I'm able to do at the moment but just like a gentle 30 40 minute cycle whilst I watch a YouTube video is really really important I think that that's like just a little thing that I can do to like give myself a little bit more time back to like that kind of like life balance so that's a big one that I'm going to be looking at doing this year another intention of mine that I really want to stick to is journaling again I used to love journaling I used to love writing down my thoughts my feelings things I'm grateful for things I'm working towards and in all honesty during COVID it just dropped off the face of the earth and I think it's mainly because I just felt like I didn't really have many thoughts to put down and I feel like because we were in limbo for so long I got out of the habit and then when we started coming out of limbo I was out of the habit and I wasn't like 
in the mindset to do it again so i am going to be journaling again this year and my journal of choice is another carry co journal this is their manifestation notebook um and i'm going to be using this as a huge mixture for writing down thoughts writing down feelings journaling every single day talking about goals thinking about what i'm manifesting thinking about how i'm going to be achieving these things um so that's going to be really really helpful and actually in terms of like the things with like my habits and stuff um this is going to be helpful. If you watched my What I Got For Christmas, you would have seen that I got this from Alex's um, brother and sister-in-law, which was so, so kind of them. And this is a great way of kind of holding myself accountable. Um, so this is gonna be called my accountability journal. And in it, it's basically God's. Quote of the day, today's plan, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, shopping list, expenses, daily exercise, water, self-care, and personal notes. So it's just all about like how I've looked after myself that day, how I've kind of like put my life balance as a priority and what I've been doing. Um, and there are like a few habits, as I say, that I just wanna like get better at, um, like things like eating healthier meals, making sure that I'm putting the best thing into my body because as I said, my skin struggled so much over Christmas when I was just eating after crap. So putting the best things that I can into my body, doing my daily exercises, doing things that make me really, really happy, practicing self-care more in the evening. And a really big intention of mine is this year is basically just to make sure that my safety things are very very healthy i don't want to talk about it too much because obviously like it's one of those processes that are very very long but i want to kind of like hit a milestone in terms of my savings and making sure that i have that ready for when we start looking at houses and stuff which is not saying that we are looking right now there's a lot of things that need to like fall into place a lot of things that need to happen so i won't go into too much detail about that but i'm basically just wanting to get my savings and my personal expenses to a really really healthy place now I know I touched on manifestation just a little bit then, but I wanted to talk a little bit more about it because I know you guys basically wanted to see my vision board. Now vision boards are such an important thing for me. If you don't know what one is, it's basically kind of like a collage of pictures, aesthetic things, writing, quotes, anything that you like that really inspires you and it feels like you're working your way towards your goals that you are achieving so whether that's you want to start a family pictures of families together whether that's you want to buy a house pictures of lots of houses whether that's you want to buy your dream car putting up pictures of that exact car that you want the number plate that you want the license the steering wheel the alloys like loads of different features that really help you kind of like look towards that goal and you guys know i'm a big believer in manifestation in believing that there's two things I always think that help you achieve your goals and that's manifestation, believing that they're yours and hard work. I'm a big believer in hard work as well. Like I feel like your dreams don't work unless you do. That's a quote that I heard a long time ago and I feel like it's such a true one and really, really plays into the whole manifestation thing. I know a lot of people just believe that all you need to do is believe it's yours and it will come to you. I personally believe that you need to believe it's yours. You need to want it fully in your heart and then work towards it see how you can put stepping stones and goals and places in front to make sure that you are achieving those goals. So I know I spoke a little bit about my manifestation board and my vision board. So I thought I would talk a little bit about how I create them because I've had a lot of questions from you guys about how I create my vision board. I know a lot of you also want to like make sure you're working towards achieving your goals this year. Make sure you're working towards like creating that manifestation and making it like as easy as possible for you and being able to visualize your goals. So I do all of my vision boards on my phone. Now I know a lot of people like to do it on laptops, use it as like their desktop background. I personally don't like doing that. I find that a bit too busy. So I like to use it as my background for my phone. I use it as my lock screen and then it means that every time I go onto my phone, which let's be honest, I probably pick up about a hundred times a day. I see that and that is the first thing I see every time I pick up my phone. And it's a really great way to just kind of like remind yourself what you're working towards, like envisioning what you're wanting and just seeing it every day just really helps me in terms of like envisioning my own life, in terms of working towards my own goals. So I personally use an app called Canva, which I really, really like Canva. I think it's a really great app in terms of like the fact that you can still like create it all your own obviously it's completely free and it's a great one for kind of like collaging so this is my current manifestation board that you're seeing right here there's lots of things in here that you can see that i'm like working towards and you can literally put anything that you want in here like any goals that you have that you want to achieve these are literally just photos i've taken from instagram from pinterest from 
Google like any kind of photos and I wouldn't worry too much about them not being your own photos I know that we do need to be careful in terms of like photos that we use like reposting on your own Instagram and yada yada and who owns the rights to them but I think just in terms of your own vision boards it's a really really important one to like be able to properly visualize what you want so you can put anything you want in there whether that's screenshots of photos whether that's your own photos that like you maybe want to make sure that like you are envisioning your dream house and you walk past a house that you absolutely adore snap a photo of it and add it to your vision board i think that's a really really great one i also really like to use like quotes and stuff um so i have two quotes here that i think are really important to me and the first one is money flows to me freely and easily and it's one that i actually heard in it was the book how to be a badass at making money i definitely recommend listening to that if you are looking to kind of like up your financial goals increase the money that you're looking to earn the money you're looking to save and cr but create a better relationship with money i think that's the biggest part that i took away from that book i really really like it um and that's one thing that she said to remind yourself and it's a really important one to me because i think a lot of us have been raised that money's hard to make honey is money is hard to find it's hard to keep it's elusive it's not always there but actually something that i think is really really important is just reminding yourself that money flows to me freely and easily and the other one that i really like is i attract opportunity and i feel like that is a really nice one because it's very broad sometimes when it comes to manifesting it can be difficult when you want to be like really specific with what you want i know that all of the kind of like books all of the journals all the experts when it comes to manifestation they tell you to keep your visions streamlined but broad basically you want to have like a really clear goal but you want to be able to stay open to the ways that you achieve that goal so for me opportunity can be absolutely anything it can be collaborations with some of my favorite brands it can be people that have found me that absolutely adore my content and that i really help out it can be new relationships it can be new clients it's so so open to interpretation which i really really like about it and it just reminds me every single day what i do with my job how i'm working with my job and i really really like that quote now you can see a big one in the middle there as well as i was talking about financial goals a big one for me in terms of savings i think it's really really important to put an exact number in there so i've just put fifty thousand in there because that's a big goal of mine is to hit fifty thousand in my savings and i know that we don't really talk about money a lot i know that's something that's like usually a little bit cliche but i didn't want to take that out because that is a huge huge goal of mine this year and what i've actually done is i went into my online banking account and i screenshotted where it said balance and i've just changed the number so where it initially said however much was in there it now says fifty thousand. so i can literally see that number every single day and remind myself that is what is going to be coming into my bank account that is what is going to be in my balance and that is what i'm working towards so those are the only kind of like number ones you can see a lot of very like aesthetic visual ones i really like it to look really aesthetic i like it to be really pleasing some people like to do it in more of like a grid formats so you can literally put it in like almost like instagram squares i prefer to have it a little bit more higgledy piggledy a little bit more kind of like around the place um so as you can see there's a lot of like shelfy shots here and that's because shelfies are so important to me and home is so important to me and that is something that is a huge kind of thing that is happening in my personal life this year that i'm working towards and that we are hoping to kind of like change this year um without giving too many details away i'm hoping to move this year and that was where i will leave it so there's lots of home things in there new shelves outdoor space windows <laughs> things like that so i'm really really hoping to be able to achieve that this year another big one as you can see over here is someone holding a mini now one thing that i think is really important is not always just taking an, a straight photo of like what you want so i could literally just put a photo of a mini cooper in there if i wanted to or a photo of a mini countryman whichever one i'm looking at but that's the problem i don't know which one i want at the moment i just know that i want to buy myself a new car this year and i want it to be a mini so i found this photo of a guy holding a girl's hand and what i really like about this is i can really envision this as me so i can envision that as alex driving my car and me sitting in the passenger seat holding his hand going somewhere having a lovely time and you can obviously see the mini logo on the wheel so i think that's like a really important thing to do is to be able to picture yourself in the scenario i usually don't put any faces in there i don't put any like bodies in there because i can't envision myself as that person so i like to keep it quite elusive and quite easy to like envision myself so 
yeah, that's how I create my vision board. And then I basically just save this from Canva and then I add it as my background of my phone. And then it means that every time I log onto my phone, I can see the exact visions that I am looking towards, the vision board that I have created for myself and the goals that I am wanting to set. And it's just such an important thing for me to help me achieve the goals that I'm working towards, help me envision them and help me manifest them. I believe that if I can see them every day, if I can work towards them, if I can see the finish line, it helps me work harder to get there. So I really hope that helped you guys, helped you know how I create my vision boards, how I kind of like work towards my manifestation goals and how I envision the things that I'm wanting to achieve in a year and I update this pretty much every six months there was a few things that I had on here that I have achieved which is always really really exciting from last year's vision board and it's always so satisfying to be able to take that off your vision board and say I can take that off because I achieved that like I had 100k on my vision board for my Instagram and as soon as I achieved it I changed up my vision board and I set myself a new goal because it's so important for me to be able to set those goals to keep striving keep working towards new ambitions new dreams new mindsets and a vision board for me it really really helps with that so I hope that helps you guys in how to create your own vision board I would love it if you sent them to me on Instagram if you wanted to if they're not too personal because I feel like everyone's vision board will look so different it'll be so interesting to see what your guys vision boards look like so send me a DM on Instagram of a screenshot of your vision board I would absolutely love to see that I am very aware that that was a lot of talking and a lot of information being thrown at you so I do apologize for that. This is going to be a long, long vlog, but as you can tell, I'm just really passionate about this kind of thing. And I know that so many of you guys have been asking about it. And I just love to be able to like share this kind of information with you guys, because helping you achieve your dreams is something that is so, so cool to be able to like explain to you how I work towards my goals, how I work towards achieving my dreams. And so it's really fun and exciting. And I feel like it's so lovely to like just chat about the things that we're looking to change, how we're looking to change our lives, the intentions we're looking to, set and the resolutions that we are looking at to achieve so let me know what your new year's intentions are this year anything that you're looking to change in your life any big life goals that you're looking at to achieve let me know in the comments i would absolutely love to hear that all the lights in the flat are on which can only mean one thing and that is that it is much later from when I last spoke to you. I have had such a productive day today. I've been really, really happy with myself with how much work I've gotten done. I filmed three reels, which I'm really enjoying doing my styling reels at the moment. I think it's a great way for me to like show you the clothes in a bit more like real time and like exactly how I would wear them, how I would style them. Um, and it's been really, really fun. So I've been loving kind of incorporating it from my like outdoor shoots to my kind of like indoor reels. So really happy with my progress that I had today. I also had like a couple of meetings with some really exciting things that are happening very, very soon. But before I signed off this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about a few little PR bits that have arrived recently that I haven't had a chance to speak to you about. Um, and I'm really excited about them because I feel like we've been on a bit of a skincare journey together and they're all kind of like related to like skincare and beauty and looking after ourselves. So I thought I would quickly show you what arrived and we can chat about the products together. I can't remember if I said this earlier on in the vlog um, or if I showed you my outfit of the day. I'm just wearing my favorite. This is a misguided jumper dress, which I absolutely adore. It's like really cozy, really super comfy, perfect for an at-home day. And I'm wearing it with my new Amazon fashion belt, the very like Hermes inspired belt, which I really, really like. The only thing I will note about it, which I'm sure the Hermes one probably doesn't do, it does slip sometimes like you know if you bend over and like it, you stretch it a little bit it does stretch with you i kind of wish there was a way to like lock it in place and then if you wanted to adjust it looser i'm not entirely sure but i have found that it has like loosened throughout the day so i do sometimes just have to kind of like cinch it in a little bit but i do think it's such a gorgeous belt like i love just the little detail that it adds so simple and so classic but talking about the products that have arrived so i'm going to start with a couple of bits from Givenchy. now you know how much i love Givenchy beauty i do apologize about the lighting this is very orange i do apologize about the lighting by the way i'm very aware this is very orange lighting but such is winter um and i wanted to use the best lighting for my real videos it's always really difficult juggling 
when to like film stuff because I'm not very good at compartmentalizing like if I'm filming a vlog I want to be doing that vlog I want to be showing you what's new and I want to be chatting to you guys if I'm filming reels I want to film those reels so sometimes it's a bit difficult like flitting between the two which is why I've never been good at like weekly vlogging because if I weekly vlogged guys it'd be like two hours long because when I sit down and chat to you I just want to chat I just want to talk I just want to have fun so I'm never that person that can pick up the camera for five minutes and then not pick it up for another two days um anyway Givenchy Beauty. I had a couple of lovely pieces arrive. These actually arrived just before Christmas and I haven't had a chance to actually properly like unpackage them, see what we have. So these are from the Blanc Divin collection from Givenchy Beauty. Uh, they're both kind of like related to their skincare. They sent them over as a really, really lovely Christmas present just before Christmas. So first of all, we have the Brightening Mattifying Loose Powder, which sounds really, oh wow, that is gorgeous. Look at this so you can see the kind of like powder in the packaging that this sounds very very similar to the laura mercier light catcher one because it's like a brightening powder but it basically sounds like it's a little bit more mattifying so if you're really really oily and you are worried about that laura mercier one this might be a really really great option for you so i will link that down below and then we also have a brightening fresh moisture mask which sounds lovely i definitely am enjoying especially in the evening putting on skincare that just feels like a drink for my skin like i want to be oily shiny and <laughs> moisturized in the evening and this sounds oh my gosh look how gorgeous that packaging is <gasps> that is so bougie i absolutely love that that sounds like it's going to be a really nice evening moisture mask i love doing masks as well at the same time as my hair like i'll do a face and a hair mask at the same time and i think basically the main thing for me is just getting that moisture back in my skin getting that like glow back and getting the kind of like healthy look back in it so i'm really really excited to try those we then have a couple of products that have been sent over from avena avena is a skincare brand that i absolutely adore everything i've tried from them i have loved and i'm surprised that i don't kind of reach for it more or talk about it more because it is absolutely stunning and they've been so kind to send over a few things so first of all we have the radiance serum which is from the less essentials rain and this is for sensitive skin which sounds amazing i have found that some serums do break me out so i do have to be careful when it comes to like glowy serums you know any kind of like glow oils or things like that sometimes they are a little bit harsh on my skin and they can break me out so i'm really excited to give it this a try so it's just like really simple packaging which i really like about avene it's a fairly like affordable brand as well in terms of skincare so if you are looking to update your skincare this will be a lovely one to try out they've also sent over the aqua gel hydrating aqua cream in gel i really really like my day creams to be in like a gel form i find that if i go for a day cream that's in a like very creamy substance my makeup just does not last at all it just moves about on my face it doesn't kind of like absorb the moisture and it just sits really weird so i always love my moisturizers to be in a gel form so that will be a lovely one to try and then lastly we have the soothing eye contour cream so lots of different creams to try for my eyes i know i've spoken about this before but i have very very sensitive eyes so i always tend to stick to kind of the same cream it's the clinique moisture moisture surge 92 hour i think that's what it's called i usually stick to that one but i am wanting to branch out and just try a few different things and especially like i think it's really nice to have a different skincare routine in the evening compared to in the morning so this might be a really really nice one to try so once i finish my clinique one i will give this a go and let you know how i get on and then the last brand is a brand that i feel like we all need in our skincare collections for winter and that is lano i absolutely adore lano i've had some lano hand creams for ages and they are so so good they're the kind of hand cream where you know when you've been outside and your hands get so cold that they start to like crack that is the hand cream that i use for that and i always actually get compliments this is such a flex i always get compliments on my hands people always like oh you have such soft hands i'm like oh thanks i do try um so it's a really really nice one so we have the all over everywhere multi cream so i'm guessing that this is a cream that you can use on anything yep it literally says an essentially rich and gentle one one cream solution for all over and everywhere apply this unique hard working blend into a thirsty skin and it will drink up the lano lanolin e goodness lanolin e goodness leaving your skin nourished and silky day cream night cream hand cream eye cream body cream children 
wow that is amazing and one thing that i find that lana is really good for is it's like obviously hypoallergenic so it's so great for eczema alex personally gets quite bad eczema especially when he's stressed like i always know when he's stressed out he has this little patch on his elbow that always flares up when he gets stressed i actually remember back when we were at university when we were in third year and he just had a constant like it was just a permanent ring around that bit so i always knew whenever he's getting stressed and i was just hand the lano to him like thank you darling just use a little bit of that so this is a really really great one for just really dry really irritated sore skin is the best way to describe it i mean you don't have to save it for when your skin gets that bad i would definitely recommend it on normal skin to stop your skin from getting that bad um and then the other one which i've never tried is the super balm lip balm I'm very, very excited. It says it's a multi-purpose super balm. And I've actually heard that this is quite similar. If ever you've used it, the Liz Earl, no, Elizabeth Arden. Oh, what's it called? What's that cream? Is it just eight hour? Eight hour cream. I think it is. That cream that you can use for literally anything. This is very, very similar to that I've heard. So I'm really excited to give this a try. It's actually called a 101 ointment, but it's like a super balm, lip balm. It says that it is extreme hydration for extremely dry lips, skin patches, cuticles, elbows, add and more. So you can use this for so many different things. So I'm really excited to give that a try. And it's a perfect little compact size. So that is really, really exciting. Some lovely new skincare bits. I really have had like a full skincare update and i feel like i'm going to be talking lots more about like beauty and skin in the months to come because i feel like it's just so important to keep my skincare routine like really working for me really hydrating and moisturizing and keeping my skin looking really healthy and glowy so i hope you will enjoy coming on this journey with me and i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm gonna leave it here because it's probably 2300 hours long because i have not stopped talking today but as I said, you can always tell what I get passionate about because you just can't shut me up about it. But I really hope that today's video has been helpful for you and learning more about like manifestation and mood boards and everything like that has been helpful. Because as I said, I've had so many requests. So I really wanted to properly sit down, properly go through it and just lay it all on the table, give you all of my secrets, tell you all of the insider tricks in how to like manifest your dream life. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, I would absolutely love it if you hit that subscribe button and came and join it, the little YouTube family. Please be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And I'm just gonna give you a little spoiler that the next video is going to be a little bit of a haul from a couple of my favorite brands. And you can probably guess now which ones they are. So you're definitely gonna wanna be subscribed for that. You are not going to want to miss that video. So I hope you guys have the loveliest day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.